Hi everyone, it's Shelly from Houtnet Yarn just coming to you today to give you a video of uh, the next knit along. Uh, it is this shawl I'm wearing. It is the Prima Shawl by Shelly Anderson. Um, I will show you first a couple different ways to wear it. Um, this is the way I like to wear mine. I just have it safety pinned in the back um, and then I can just throw it over my head and don't have to worry about it falling down because it is securely there. But there are plenty of other ways uh, to wear it. I'm going to unsafety pin it and then I will show you a few other ways to wear it. So you can wear it, it's plenty long enough to wear it, to wrap it around you uh, this way and then kind of flip it out here and wear it. Let's see. We'll pull down the front. So you can wear it like a regular, you know, shawl in the front. It's just a regular crescent shaped shawl. You can wear it thrown over the back of you as well. And then another one of my favorite ways to wear these crescent shaped shawls is to fold them in half like a regular scarf and then tuck it through the loop like that. Especially in the winter here in Maine, uh, I like to wear my shawls like this because it keeps me um, warmer. If I'm outside, it will stay on better. And then, you know, when I go inside, I can wrap my shawl however I want. Uh, it is a good size shawl. I am five feet tall and it is longer than my arm span. Um, I would say I've got probably a foot on either end, if not more, probably a little bit more. Um, and it is garter stitch and it's got a lacy section where the mohair lace is and then a striped garter stitch section as well. Um, so you can see all of that. The colors I used were a Hope Coral in the Abigail Mohair Lace, which is this one. And then Uptown Love on Jimmy Sock. These um, may not go into the shop until tomorrow. Uh, it depends if I get to them today or not. I still have to do pictures and stuff for my DK update, so bear with me. They might not go up until tomorrow. Um, but I do have lots of other combos that are not listed in the, as a combo on the website right now. However, um, they're all listed individually. So I will get started with some yellows. Um, Abigail Mohair Lace, they both butter dreams. This one is on Abigail Mohair Lace. This is Jimmy Sock 50 grams. Um, so you will need two of the Jimmy Sock skeins to make the shawl. But here's a nice yellow combo. I need an extra bucket over here. Here is Golden Moon. Um, this is Elsa Sock. And this is the Abigail Mohair Lace. Oh, hold on, I dropped one. And then here is a wine that stains on Abigail Mohair Lace. And I have three colors that I think will really look good with it. Uh, Midge will look great with it. Susie or Joel. Um, I also have Raven that will look really well. Um, with Joel as well. Let me just make room to put these back. Um, for a more neutral one, we have the Bare Naked. Um, this is the Elsa Sock and the Abigail Mohair Lace. Emerald, again, Ab uh, Elsa Sock and the Abigail. Aquadelic, Elsa and Abigail. And then the Beat It on Mohair and also Beat It on Elsa Sock or Three Tequila will also look really well with the Beat It. Uh, Spearmint Delight and Slap Bracelet look really nice. There's a little bit of that Spearmint on half of the skein of the Slap Bracelet. You Got Lucky, also Elsa Sock and oh sorry those other ones the two tequila and the flat bracelet were both Jimmy Sock, Elsa Sock, and Abigail Mohair Lace for the You Got Lucky. Double Trouble on Jimmy Sock and Lavender Fields on Abigail Mohair Lace. 
Abigail Mohair Lace and Let Me See Those Baby Blues would look really great with Floor on Jimmy Sock as well as the Who Drank the Tequila on Jimmy Sock. Here are those two. The Who Drank the Tequila will also work well with the Beat It. It's got some of those colors in it as well. Downtown Jewel, Elsa Sock, and Abigail Mohair Lace. The Coral Reef on Jimmy Sock will work with a few colors. I put it next to the Saffron Spice to help pick up that little bit of orange in there, but it will also work with the Downtown Jewel. It'll pick up that purple as well as the Aquadelic. And also what will work with that Saffron Spice is the Autumn Thistle. And that will work also with the Candied Pecans. For a softer one, we have Sip Some Wine with Olivia on Jimmy Sock. It's got some wine speckles in there and the Hope Pink. You could also, if you wanted to pick up that dark color in here, you could use the Wine That Stains on Mohair. And I have a Raven with on Mohair and a Waves in the Dark on Jimmy Sock. Tell Me About It on Mohair. And hold on, I have a spare sticker here somehow. And New Obsession on Jimmy Sock. Those two will go well together. As well as, um, sorry, Burnt Grass. And that is it for the combos that I have for you today. Um, with the Abigail Mohair Lace and a Jimmy Sock or Elsa Sock. If uh, anybody does not want Abigail Mohair Lace, because I think the shawl would look really well. Um with just two fingering white colors. I understand there are some people that don't really love mohair, find it itchy. Um, so if you want some combos that are just two colors that will work really well together, I can do another video of those for you. Um, the knit along is going to start on September 5th and I will post all of the description um, info and stuff like that in the description of the video. I will see you guys next week.